Looking a little hazy out there, and uh, it's going to be a little milder today than what we had yesterday. Welcome back to the 10 a.m. News. Well, if you're looking for something fun to do with the kids this weekend, there's a new exhibit that opens at the Family Museum in Bettendorf that also has a pretty powerful message. Dr. Ellen Cabot Lynch from the Eastern Iowa Community College District is here to give us an idea of what to expect with the Watts Up With Energy exhibit. Watts. Watts. I love that. That is great. Thanks so much for coming in. You're welcome. Uh, tell us a little bit about how um, this project was locally generated, how the idea came up and why. Well, the, the college has had a center of excellence in environmental education for years. And we do a lot of work nationally with other colleges, but we also like to focus on doing some stuff locally. And we have found that forming partnerships and working with the other entities locally are a great way to do that. So we received some funding from the Institute of Museum and Library Services, and we tied the Davenport Public Library with the Family Museum, with Mid-American Energy, the college, and we also partner with the National Renewable Energy Lab to come up with a way to explain to children the importance of the environment and the role energy plays in that. Yeah, for them, they just think you hit a light switch, um, there's, you know, it, it's endless, that power is endless and it's not something that, that has to be generated by a plant somewhere, right? Exactly. And so we've developed educational modules that they can use in the classroom, but we also thought if we could put together some museum displays and so the children can go use those, have some fun, and not only are you affecting the children, but hopefully the parents and the grandparents that go there too will learn a few tips of how you can conserve energy and why we're worried about it and why we're looking more so into renewable energies. But you're getting their attention through some fun ways of demonstrating electricity and you brought an example into our studio. Why don't you show us uh, what this is and how it works and then we'll talk a little about it. Okay, well we have a lot of larger displays at the museum. This is kind of a small one that I could bring about. And what this is, is there's some PV panels or solar panels mm -hmm. on the top of this. And we just have a couple of flashlights. When the children put the lights on that, they can go ahead and see how they can move this around so they can see how the energy from the light can be absorbed by the solar panels and create energy and movement. Uh huh. And so um, you may have noticed there are pens on this. And the other fun part of this is that you put this on a white sheet of paper and then the kids can actually create they a They can a make designs and doodle with uh -huh. it. Is there a motor in here that vibrates then when this um, gets a surge of energy? Right, the energy comes in through the, the solar panels which causes the energy mm -hmm. or the, the motor to go ahead and move it. Yeah, that's really fun and, and a really good way to get them interested. So what is the basic message when it comes to um, your exhibit and, and conservation? I mean, what are you really trying to drive home? I think what we're looking at is to help children understand their role in energy and how they can do something about it. You know, they hear it on the news, um, but they also hear their mom and dad say, you know, turn off the lights, uh -huh. you know, and close the door. There's lots of things that kids can do just themselves that will help conserve energy and make us not as, as dependent on that. All right. Well, if you are interested in checking out this exhibit, it opens this weekend at the Family Museum that is in Bettendorf uh, on Learning Campus Drive right by the library. And uh, here's a number if you'd like more information. It opens Saturday. The yeah, it 20th. goes from 10 to 2. We're going to have the energy hog there. There'll also be, we've had um, some contests with drawing energy uh, examples so there'll be a lot of things going on at that good, time good it sounds like fun thanks so much for coming in and thank wish you. you the best of luck on that project well just ahead on the 10 a.m. news what would you do if you suddenly came into some money big money we'll introduce you to one man who took a moment to celebrate then went right back to work his story is coming up next